Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Featherfall! Yay! Oh, Brian's here. Hello! Alright, so we are here, and last time you saw in the first episode, I kind of found <clears throat> this little hill here by the this and that, and there's a swamp over here, and Brian's house is that away. And I kind of gave you a little glimpse of what's going on right here, but let's take a quick look around. This is sort of my semi-island. It's not really an island, but it's kind of an outcropping. Um, but this is my little, my little, uh, I don't know, islet, I guess would be a good way to put it. But look, this is my front yard. It's full of uh, lots of the orchids. And then some of the other guys on the server have brought me some roses or maybe... Yeah, I didn't plant those. And I've got, uh, I planted the oxeye daisies and I've got some peonies. And then I've used this new block, which is called Path. And it goes down here to a little, down a little stairway to a little farm that I built out there. And then I've got my sugarcane farm there. And then it looks like somebody visited me and left a boat. I don't know if they're leaving that for me. But then over here, we've got the birch forest. And over there's all the swamp. So we're going to take a quick look around because the guys around here have been super duper busy. And I haven't been on in a while, but I need to get some food. So this is my house so far. Um, I've got windows so I could see out. I was going to show you guys what happened after you last saw, but I realized that it was probably just a lot of me hiding in a hole, talking, listening to them talk about the thunderstorm that we had on the second night. And doing some mining, which I can show you in a little bit. So I got some pork and some potatoes and some wheat. So let's cook up some of the pork and potatoes and we'll make some bread. Mm. And we'll go over to the starter farm and see what they've got going on there. Whoop, I was climbing on my bed. I'm like, why did this door suddenly get so short? And then this is all the stuff I've gathered so far. Um, one of the other players, Syndicate, I believe it is, um, got me most of this armor, and then I, I was missing one piece, and I had to use make it myself, but I found some iron down in my little mine, so that was handy, and I also found coal down there. So we're going to go see what Brian's doing. They've already got nether portal set up. I mean, I I feel so far behind, but I have great plans great plans for the series, great plans for my house, <clears throat> all kinds of good stuff. You know what? We could probably throw the, throw the steak in. This is going to get to be a much bigger house than it is right now. Let's take out the rest of the coal, throw that in, and cook up what we can, and then uh, let's eat a potato. I almost forgot why we were here. Eat a potato. One more. There we go. All right, time of day. I logged on. It was nighttime, so we're pretty good. I'm going to grab my bed just in case we need it, because in case we're wandering around and it becomes nighttime and we want to sleep. So this way to spawn. Let's get our sword in hand. So in case you haven't noticed, Brian left the game. Okay, I just noticed that. That's okay. Um, oh, looks like there's a little pathway of torches here. I don't know if that's intentional, but there are definitely torches here. Hmm, maybe that's so I don't get lost on my way back to spawn. But there are a bunch of torches here. So, I didn't do that. How, how many? Maybe that's for people on boats. Huh. So, my little... I almost forgot. I was going to show you my little mine cave. It's right over here. So, this is why I'm saying it's almost an island, because... I mean, I could dig this out and there could be a pathway through, but right up here is my little my little cave. It was my second night home, and then I started mining on down here and gotten quite a few ways down. Haven't gotten all the way, but we've got enough to find iron, so that's good. So, yeah, I don't know how far the torches go. It looks like maybe this far. Maybe just to here where the water ends, but we'll see. So off this way to spawn. Yes. Whee! So it looks like the only gift I've gotten mostly has been the flowers, but that's okay. 
I like the flowers. If you're new to this series and you don't know yet, I like flowers. I'm trying to get through the trees. There we go. Let's get back down here to the shore. That makes it a little bit easier. And there's nice little ponds here and there. And oh, looks like the chunk over there is not loading for me yet, but that's okay. So we're over here. Oh, hello. Hmm. Hmm, should we investigate? Let's let's take a look down here. What's down here? Oh a dungeon. Oh, it's a skelly. It's a skelly farm. Awesome. We need a bow. We need a bow. Ow. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we got some bones and arrows. This is cool. Awesome. Good thing we found this. We didn't get a bow, though. Hmm. Maybe we'll find some string later. Alright, up we go. And out. Go ahead and close that up. So that's a good thing to know that's there. And look, people have been building houses over here. <gasps> I don't know whose house this is what. But let's see what we've got. Ooh, this looks cute. It's very spare. We've got potatoes. Let's see, peek. Ooh, leather boots unbreaking. This is nice. Um, nobody's put signs up saying whose house is whose yet. So maybe we should do that. Oh, there's a little loft. I like it. It's cute. Brian's back. Welcome back. All right. That's like a three wick, three thick wall. Huh. Uh, okay, it's just the entrance, I guess. That's cool. There's a pillar here. I don't know why. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> Alright, ooh, we got a skeletal horse over here. Hello. So after the second night, there was lightning struck, and we got some skeletal horses. As somebody's building something fancy over here. Oh my goodness. This is putting my building skills to shame. Oh, it's becoming night time. There's a farm here, but there's nothing in it. Oh, this is Syndicate's ha cabin. Okay. Hello, Syndicate. We're gonna sleep outside your house, I guess. I'm gonna put my bed down and sleep. Yay! Alright. Put my bed back up. So this is a cute little house. Got a nice little little furnaces in the corner, some chests, little loft almost. <laughs> that's cute. So that's Syndicate. So he put a name on I didn't see a name on that one over there. But that's a nice big one. So we'll see whose that is. Let's get our sword back out. So Spawn is up over this way. And here's the portal. And oh my goodness, there are so many wolves. And they all seem to be tamed. I hope they're not all mads. So this is Mad Minecraft, who you heard or saw in um, the first episode. Oh my goodness, they must be his. They all have purple collars. But he set up the, the community farm. So this is a public farm. We've got some sheeps. And we've got the wheat. Um, there was... We had this new thing called beetroot at some point, but I don't know where it is now. Oh, it must be over here. Beetroot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get us some of that. There we go. How much did we got one? Okay, well I what is this? Oh beetroot seeds. Oh, okay, there we go. Plant those. Oh, I want those though. Um shoot. Um hmm. I feel bad for taking that now, but oh well. <laughs> um I wanted beetroot. And then this is an auto fisher he set up. So that's okay. That's pretty cool. Ooh, we almost jumped into that. That was his uh, little mining expedition. So there's some public farm. All the sheeps and the cows and the things. And this is his little temporary shack. So this is everything I know of so far. Um, an actual spawn is just up this hill. 
And then in the nether, they've got the tunnels already. It's dangerous. Don't go along alone. Take this. Ooh, nice, I think. Well, not really. <laughs> it's cute. Um, so yes, it's nearby. This is the temporary portal. Let's see. Um, I guess we could take a quick pop through into the nether. I should probably get our sword out. Oh my goodness. They have done a lot of work in here. My, 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 my. Look at this. So what is this? This is south to the ice spikes. Ooh. And this is east to the jungle. Cool. This one is north to the mesa. I guess they haven't finished that entrance yet. And this one doesn't say anything. Nope. Okay. Um, temporary ladder to nether floor. Oops. I was trying to go that way. So there's a nether, there's a floor to the nether. Uh, a, yeah. And then this is a dead end. Oh, I see. It leads out there. Aha. So we could go to k gather resources at the nether f on the floor and all that good stuff. Oh my, I thought I changed into my sword. I'm like carrying these seeds around. All right, and did we look at this one? This one was the ice spikes, right? Yeah, this so is the ice spikes are off that way somewhere. So this is pretty fancy smancy stuff here. And then we've got chests. I'm sure this is just the stuff that they've been using for building cool beans. So this is our nether hub. Looks awesome possum. Head back through. La 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 la. Alright, there we go. Ooh, there we go. Alright. So, kind of loud noises. Oh, there's something going over here. More roses. So, yeah, I'm trying to remember where actual spawn is. I guess I could turn on, oops, wrong one. Um, it's been a while. F F3, that's it. Um, actual spawn is zero zero, so that's like around this tree somewhere. Zero. Oops, too far. Anyway, somewhere in this area. Oops, I hit all the wrong buttons. F3. There we go. Oh my gosh, I probably just took five screenshots. Um, but. I was saying there's something over here I was seeing now that I've lost myself in the maze just past the roses here. Ooh, what is this? Hello? Oh my. Oh my, what is this? What is this? Is this is this somebody's base and they're like, I'm gonna build a thingamajigger. Well, it's definitely a start of something. This is kinda cool looking. Uh, mind your step though. Pretty cool. Make sure you walk on the fences. They got anything going on down underneath here? Hmm. Oh, look at this. They got a little farm. Oh, look at it. And then there's a ladder there. And then somebody's little base in here. Oh, and they've got an enchanting table. Oh, that goes down to mines. Bed. Enchanting table. Ooh, this is nice. Everybody's doing a good job. I feel so far behind, guys. <sighs> Alright, let's get out of here and head back home. Um, I don't know if there's anything else around spawn that's been built. Oh, we didn't go look at Brian's. Brian's over at the witch hut. So let's see if we can go check out Brian's place at the witch hut. And if I remember how to run. Oh, once the chunks load for me. Hello? I see a little something underneath there. Is that the spawner? I'm just going x-raying the world. La la la. So that looks like the spawner. No, that's the spawner, but it looked like there was something over this way next to it. Hmm. All right, so let's see. Shift, run, there we go. 
Run, run, run. So yeah, this is over the way I was going to be. So let's see. Let the world load, catch up with me. So I was going to build here on this hill that I could see right through. But then I discovered Brian's uh, little witch hut is just right here. As soon as it, there it is. So there's the witch hut. Um, but there's nothing there now. I thought he was building off of, stuff off of it. Unless it just hasn't loaded for me. La la la. Hmm. So I don't know where Brian has moved to then, because I thought he was setting up camp at the witch's hut here, but I don't see anything. Um. Yeah, so quite possibly not. So I don't know. I'll have to wait and see if I can find out from him sometime. But then right over there, just out of sight, is my little neck of the woods. So let's see if we can get over there before nighttime actually sets on the world and we're stuck having to fight the bad guys. All these. So I guess if this is a way that if you're out in by boat, you can tell where spawn is by all the torches. Or they're just trying to keep, you know, part of the area a little more safe because there's lots of torches here. Um, I know in the last server they like to light up spawn area with lots of torches to keep the mobs spawning down. And that's quite alright. So over here is my little area. I'm going to clean up the swamp. I'm going to make a nice big multi-level house. I'm going to make a mine. I'm going to... Uh, make a fishing pier. I uh, might get rid of some of these little bits and bobs here and there in the water of land because the swamp can be a little bit difficult that way. Alright, come on. We can do it. So once the world loads for me, I'm sure this is my house because it's my house. And I recognize it. I think... I've lost my house! It's not here! Ah! I've lost the whole world! Alright, let's let's turn around and count to ten. One, two, three, this isn't my house. Four, there it is! It's just over the hill. Haha! -ha. See, I told you. <gasps> Yay! It's almost here. And there's a little water hole here. And behind my house somewhere, which I have to find, and I'm going to get a nice glass top roof on, but somewhere over here, I think it's right, where is it, in here? Somewhere over here there is, let's dig with something, not there, over here, there it is. There's a hole, a great big deep, deep hole, and I want to find a way into it. I think here would be good maybe here. Uh, we're going to dig into it and make it a mine with a glass roof. Um, but I have to figure out how to get down into it safely. And that's going to be something I can either do on camera or off camera. You guys let me know which you'd like to see. And I'm going to head inside, put my bed down, and sleep again. There we go. Yay! Alright, so apparently he was in the nether. Okay. Um, but I was able to sleep, so that's okay. Because he's in the nether. So it doesn't really matter. So I think that is good for this episode. We toured things around a little bit. I need to fix this. But it's okay, I'm not worried about it because I'm going to be building up. Make sure that's not the one with the hole. And I need to fill the one with the hole so I don't fall in it. I actually have some glass. So let me grab the glass really quick to remind me where it's at. I know I kind of started by digging in and then I thought, you know what? I have a better idea. And I'm going to build out a little bit. But for now, and I had to put the windows in because 
creepers kept spawning outside my door and I couldn't see them. I know, it's scary. Creepers are a lot harder to kill. Well, everything's a bit harder to kill. Not a lot, but, or, you know, you know what I mean? It's harder to kill things. Okay, so let's see. Here and here. One more. Can I get that? So this is kind of a marker to tell me where it's at. So I can't fall in right here. And we can remove that. Put a piece of glass there. And then we'll do one more here. There we go. And we'll grab that dirt we picked up. And we'll put that there. So this will remind me where, that this is here. And I'm going to have to figure out how to do this. I think I'm going to dig myself a staircase going down 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 but I feel either this way giving it a glass roof there will be less likely chance for mobs to spawn in there and bug the heck out of me I know it's crazy isn't it and then we can fill this up for now because we don't need that and I think that is gonna do it for this episode guys thank you for to watching as I tour around the fall damage server spawn area and a little bit in the nether um, hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully you'll tune in tell me what you'd like to see in the epi epi next episode if you want to see me doing that work down in the mine then let me know or if you want to see me exploring the world I could do that too I have just replanted everything so I don't want to I want to plant the beets and root seeds okay but that's okay we'll figure it out anyway guys Thanks for watching. I've been Dragon Feathers. This is my little hut. And until next time, stay awesome. Bye!